Korean quilt. Uh, here's your coffee, sir. Whoa, there's no sugar. Can I have some sugar, please? 설탕 좀 주세요. Just a moment, sir. I'll be right back with your sugar. My goodness, what voice acting. Wasn't that amazing? Totally. Anyway, getting right into our show today, we're going to be learning one of the most useful things you can say in Korean, which is basically, can I have something, please? Exactly. And the first thing we're going to be asking for is, of course, sugar, 설탕. So when we combine that or any other noun with 주세요, we get, may I have or can I have some sugar, please? Perfect explanation, Banana, here. 주세요 is technically a polite way of saying, please give me. And when attached to any item, it becomes one of the most handy phrases anyone can have while in Korea. Let's get some practice, shall we? Can I have some sugar, please? 설탕 좀 주세요. Okay, so can I have a little bit of sugar, please? 설탕 좀 주세요. And a little faster, 설탕 좀 주세요. 설탕 좀 주세요. Now, instead of sugar, we can put any other object in, can't we, Richard? Indeed, we can. For example, let's say we want some salt. We can say 소금 좀 주세요. 소금 좀 주세요. Can I have some salt, please? Or how about some pepper? In that case, 후추, which is pepper, we can say 후추 좀 주세요. 후추 좀 주세요. So just before we leave today, we'll go over our three phrases. First, may I have some sugar, please? 설탕 좀 주세요. Can I have some salt, please? 소금 좀 주세요. And finally, can I have some pepper, please? 후추 좀 주세요. Okay, that's it for us on KQ. We'll see you next time. Bye for now, everyone.